Hey, so Bernadette Hattar, Betty Hattar signed a rest of the season contract with the Connecticut Sun. You understand? And I'm super excited about this. I will support the Connecticut Sun as long as Betty Hattar is on their team. Betty Hattar, if you ever ask me who's my favorite player, it's Betty Hattar. Betty Hattar has been my favorite player for the last three, four years. You understand? That's my favorite player. I've been preaching about her for like about four years now, making countless videos about her. It's Betty Hattar, Bernadette Hattar. Let me explain to you what she is because it's people saying that, who, who, who is she? Never heard of her. Oh, here they go again, signing another big. Right. And these are the people who have so much to say about women's basketball and be trying to run their mouth towards me. But you don't even know who Betty Hattar is for you to say, oh, here they go with another big who, who? You don't know women's basketball. Betty Hattar is a six foot ten big who is a three level scorer, can handle the basketball, can literally guard one through five. And the Connecticut Sun know all about her because she locked down the T-shirt. She locked down Jazz Thomas. Ain't nothing new. Could jump out the gym. Literally is the fastest woman in women's basketball. Rebounder. Got every post move you could think of. Got every high post move imaginable. Mid-range. Threes. Fastest woman in basketball. One of the has the highest IQ I've ever seen for a screener. All of this stuff. That's Betty Hattar. That's Betty Hattar. And she's a champion. You understand a Euro League champion. So that's what it is. And the Indiana Fever let her go for Aaliyah Boston because they wanted to force the Indiana Fever to be all about Aaliyah Boston. And if you bring Betty Hattar over here, Betty was going to start over Aaliyah. And then your little plan to force this Fever team to be Aaliyah's only would have blown up in your face. So they forced the situation. And you really gave up, for me personally, the best player in the world, Betty Hattar. That was so damn stupid. You understand? But this is what it is. And what did Aaliyah Boston do? 33% last night. No blocks. Four turnovers. Five fouls. Only four rebounds and nine points. Couldn't do anything. Not versatile. Nothing. Got owned by Azura Stevens. Azura Stevens blocked the shot like four times. You're not blocking Betty Hattar. That's 6'10". You understand? Like... It's just stupid. It's just the dumbest thing in the world what they did to her. How they gave up on her. That was so damn stupid. And now the Connecticut Sun get, gets to take those riches. And I'm super excited about this. I will be watching Connecticut Sun games day in and day out. You understand? I said from day one, wherever Betty goes, that's where I'm going to go. So now I got me a new favorite team. Okay, I got me a new favorite team, right? Obviously, Chicago, Indiana, Dallas, and now Connecticut because of Betty Hattar. That's my girl. That's my girl. That's my girl. You understand? I've been studying her for years. That's my girl. And so she's on the Connecticut Sun. And when they play the Indiana Fever, I hope she kill and murder uh, Lynn Dunn and them. I hope she embarrasses them. You understand? And that's just the way that's going to be. So... Salute Betty Hattar, salute Connecticut Sun, and check this out. Okay, so Connor Williams, guess what? Arrested again for domestic battery, domestic violence. And this isn't anything new. She's done this before. Remember, she used to be Penny Toller's little pit bull. And Penny Teller cut Sierra Dillard to bring back Raquana Williams. When Raquana Williams should have never even been brought back. That was she was dead wrong for that. But that was her little bodyguard in that Sparks organization. And you remember she threatened to murder her ex girlfriend with a gun. Said I empty all eighteen inside of you. All of this stupid stuff she was doing after beating up her ex girlfriend. By the way, so this is just who she is. If she were a dude. She'll be in prison right now, probably, right? But because she a woman, they let him get away with it. Sort of like Natasha Howard threw her girlfriend through a glass door. Crazy, beat her up, threw her through a glass door. Brittany Grinder beating the dog crap out of Glory Johnson. You know, so this is pervasive. This is something 
that's been going on in the league for a really long time, domestic violence. It's just crazy. But once again, I told you all of this evil crap surrounding the Las Vegas Aces, a lot of bad stuff will happen to him. Your wicked, disgusting head coach, Becky Hammond, the mistreatment of Derek and Hamby, almost made her have a miscarriage, all of this other stuff. So you're dealing with that. Salary cap circumvention from Alicia Clark and Candace Park, and now Candace has a broken foot. You see where that's going. Alicia Clark got caught hating on Sabrina Ionescu, but smiling in her face at the All-Star game. You know how that go, right? Kelsey Plum hating on Sabrina, smiling in her face. Okay, then you got your little wicked witch, Sydney Colson, still in a roster spot, right? It's just a lot of bad stuff. Nikki Farg is corrupt. The GM corrupt. It's a lot of bad stuff going on over there. and But they're supported and backed by the WNBA and their partners at ESPN, Disney, ABC, and the powers that be. And so, you know, they let them get away with a lot of stuff. Asia Wilson also hating as well. And once again, Asia, you got to stop using these relaxers, perms, and so on because you are literally going bald. That's number one. So this is sort of where it is. So here she goes again with the BS, and this is why they signed Ashley Jones to another seven-day contract. She should have never been allowed back into this league after she threatened to murder those people. And I don't think she should be back into this league again. I don't think you should get three strikes. This is enough. I think it's time to get rid of her, get her up out of this league. That's done. It's over with. Okay? So that's what I got to say about it. I told you this league is is a cesspool. Right? I told y'all it'll be you'll see this league look good and then boom. They're going to go into the toilet bowl. They'll hit the latrine. So that's what it is. That's it.